everybody, I'm Lex. I'm Shane from PDQ.com. Shane, let's talk about what we need to know before building a package. Yeah, just any just any generic package, right? Okay, so um, first thing, I need to know my sign-up parameters, right? Well, first of all, actually, even before that, you need to know huh, what you're gonna what, what you're going to actually install, and is it an EXE? Is it an MSI? How do you initiate that? Good point. Once you find that out, then naturally, then, yeah, yeah the, the silent parameters. If it's an MSI, the basic parameters are taken care of automatically. It's a slam dunk at that yeah. point, yeah. You can still modify it by modifying the properties. Uh, you'll do that in the... Go ahead and open that up. Let's create a new let's, package. Well, let's just open one that's already got an MSI. You want to open an auto-download one? Well, yes, I do. All right. Because I just want to point the step out here. Okay. And this is an EXE, so we need to... It's, a, it's, it's important to know... Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually close this because... When you create a package, the first thing you want, if mm -hmm. you're going to, for the most part, you're going to use what's known as an install, install step. step. Now, if you're using the free version, the install step is the only step you have available. But there's your install. And an install basically that says, what install file do you have? That's where you're going to, that's where you, you'll navigate to it. Um, it might be on a file share. It might be on your local machine. But uh, if it's an MSI, we automatically make the MSI run silently. Absolutely. You can go ahead and, and show that. Now here's your MSI parameters. You can change it again straight out the gate here. Install. Yeah. Don't restart and do it quietly. Yep. But then there's additional. Um, if if you do need additional parameters in an MSI, also known as properties, you'll use the parameters field to do property equals new the new value. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's an EXE, very important. What is the, what are the parameters? Is is if it's one, but are the parameters to make this run silently? Usually it's like a slash uppercase S. Um, or it could be a, you know, a slash install or slash quiet. It just depends on the vendor of that application. And again, those silent parameters, you're going to go on the parameter line. Yep. If it's an uppercase S, then you'll see the command line at the bottom. Go ahead and highlight that. The command line at the bottom will automatically be be appended with the slash uppercase Absolutely. S. Absolutely. Uh, whatever, whatever parameters you need. The cool thing is, going back to what Lex was showing you with the uh, an auto download package, these are packages uh, from the package library. Let's look at Firefox, because Firefox is an EXE. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to the install step, and you'll see there's the EXE, but the parameters were actually passing an INI file. This is a, a, published, a published options from Mozilla on how to silently install. Um, we, we actually provide an INI file that answers some questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you could also use a dash MS, as in Mozilla Silent. Yep. Um, but this, this, the INI file gives us a, a lot more options. Absolutely. But yes, uh, while it may not be the first thing, the first thing is what, what, what are you installing? What's your install file? Uh, silent parameters are the biggest hiccup. Next thing you want to worry about, are there multiple files that uh, are part of this installation? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a, just a standalone EXE or a standalone MSI that's 35 megabytes or something. Or in this case, it's the INI file. In this case, the INI file. Yes, we have added that. You can see in the additional files. And it's grayed out here because this is a, a read-only package mm -hmm. from the package library. But you can add additional files from the additional files field. Or if there's a lot of files and you don't want to have to add each one of them individually, you can click the include entire directory. directory. Yep, and that sometimes it's just you, you might have 300 files, including Cap subdirectories. Files. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you have a lot of those support files that are part of that installation and you don't include them, you're going to have a bad time. going to have a bad time, definitely. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fail. So, but at the same time, if it's, a, if it's just a self-contained EXE or an MSI, then you don't need to include the entire directory. So get to know how it's set up a little bit. So takeaways from this. Know your silent parameters. Know if you need additional files. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you have a nice drink to have of when course. you're done. There's some advanced steps in there, but we'll get to those in other videos. Absolutely. Those, those, that, that covers the really the, the, main, the main thing for you. Yeah. I'm Shane. I'm Lex. Thanks for watching.